I don't think this mic stand is built for someone like me. But I disappear. Ready? Let me sit up more. I need a phone book. <laughs> Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I need a phone book. <laughs> Today we're reacting to woke TikToks. Do you disclose that you're trans? I just have been reviewing actually the video that I made where it's like, I'm not telling straight guys that I'm trans. The amount of comments I get around, well, if you don't tell him, then you're going to get what's coming for you. Or like, you're lying to him. Or that's not the right way to start a relationship. It's like, hey, start the conversation with all of the baggage that you have in life. If we're going to go off of that rule of I should disclose that I'm trans on a first date, then you should tell me how much money you make, how right. big your dick is, yeah. and like what trauma you have with your parents. I wouldn't consider... You're going off the assumption that he assumes you're a woman. You're allowing him to believe something that's not true. You need to correct him. You're trying to compare apples to oranges. So she's like, if I'm supposed to tell you I'm trans and I want to know your dick size out the bat, okay. You know he has a dick. He doesn't know you have a dick. He doesn't know you have a dick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, mad about that and this it just it doesn't i am so much shorter than you and my mic is this much taller and if I was are you mad at, at the mic or are you mad at the the trans identifying man both i'm gonna have to both. compress the shit out of this audio <laughs> now what if the man that she's dating isn't telling her that he has a vagina. Is that okay? This is just a fucked up world we're living in. It's so fucked up. A lot of trans women disclose they have a penis to men who are interested in them because they know that if a man just gets surprised by a penis when they're getting intimate with a trans woman, they're they're not... That's why gay panic was a thing. Never heard of fight or flight? You, you can't just... Assume that they know or let them assume something that's not, not true because once you get into the bedroom when you're about to be intimate with each other, the last thing you want is for that man to be surprised and then feel really violated because he was lied to. I would totally feel that way if I was like dating a chick and then we were being intimate and then I noticed there was a penis. I would feel not like a form of but it's more of a form of like Really fucked up manipulation. I want to apologize because I think I blacked out from a rage for a second. I'm sorry, I didn't hear a goddamn word you said. No. But she referred to this as baggage. <laughs> Do you consider your, your lack of a vagina to be baggage? I guess so. I mean, it's not like he's asking for your penis size. He just needs wants to know if you have a penis or a vagina because when it comes to having sex, there's a giant difference no matter what anyone wants to say. Are we flirting or not flirting? That's what I'm hearing. Like, that's what I'm hearing with the question. It's not a matter of, like, well, I want to know how much money you make, how big your dick is, and what you do every Friday night. Bitch, I'll tell you, but you better tell me how deep your fucking cunt is. Because, like, if we're getting hey. to the nitty-gritty of it, let's get to the nitty-gritty of it. Hi-yo. <laughs> so, we have the trans woman right here, okay? I think why they don't want to tell men that they're they have penises, you know, that they're actually men, is because they're not used to getting that kind of attention from a man that they find attractive, right? So they don't want to want to cut it off too soon, you know, because they're getting attention that they never have before. So they're in this, like, euphoric state of, oh, I'm getting attention from someone that finds me attractive, when normally if he knew I had a penis, he wouldn't. So they don't want to, like, deflate their dream. They want to keep that hope alive. They don't have a chance. I know. If they tell them out the bat. Yeah. So here's my thing. If um, You don't have a thing, but go ahead. If you were going on a date with someone on a dating app, and let's just say that they were wearing a woman costume. Let's say that it was like a party city costume you could get and just zip up. People okay. like SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yeah. they just unzip their body. Yeah. Okay? And you're going on these dates, and you're like, that's the woman, that's the woman, that's the woman. And then, like, the fifth date comes, and you're like, hey, maybe we're going to get somewhere tonight. And then all of a sudden, zip, I'm a man. How would you feel? Were we intimate or touching Dates. or anything? So we were kissing. I would feel it's very, it's, it's, it's kind of rare because you're not consenting to the man kissing you. You're consenting to the woman you believe is a woman kissing you. Yes. If you would have known it was a man, you wouldn't have consented. So they, they're robbing you of your ability to consent to, 
to this But it shouldn't be based off their gender. It should be based off of how you feel with them is their argument. Well, not everyone thinks alike. Everyone has their own personal opinions and likes and, and dislikes. Just because you think that way doesn't mean that he should. You know, and he, it is a lie. You meet someone and you say you're a woman, you say you're a man, that's what you That's what you see, that's what you get. Now you say trans woman, trans man, at least you have the indication you know differently. Okay, but what if their excuse is, well, I didn't tell him I was either. I, he just assumed you filled out a goddamn dating app profile. Which one did you click? Yeah, but just because they can identify... Women have penises, too. That's what they're going to say. Which one did you click? She, her. Why would you not tell someone when you know that you can get hurt? This is why you're not an act... <laughs> this is where your whole, I'm a woman, I'm a woman thing falls apart. You know why? Because women are scared to go on first dates alone. Women tell everyone in the world the name, the address, the, when they're going, what they're doing, because they're scared because they know they could get hurt. You being overly self-conflated, I got this, they can't touch me, and if they do, it's a hate crime. If they, if we thought that way, we would be d- There's no, <laughs> like, and this just shows why you are not exactly the same and probably should tell him that you have a penis. You can't assume that your beliefs are going to be the beliefs of the person that you're dating. You believe you're a woman. You can't automatically assume that he believes that trans women are women. Just because you believe your ass can be used like a vagina does not mean it's the goddamn truth. Hands on a first date, then you should tell me how much money you make, how right. big your dick is, yeah. and like what trauma you have with your parents. I wouldn't consider being trans as a baggage. It's a fact about what you are. If you're a trans woman, you're different than a biological woman. And the people who want to date you deserve to know. I cannot believe that you compare a man not being honest about how much he makes on the first date to you not telling a man that you have a- Right. Things you can control. Things you can't control. <laughs> I can get a better job. I can have a worse job. We could be making more or less money in the future. Things you can't change. The dick. You're still a man, you still produce sperm, and I can tell. I guess I'm 5'1". You think I can't tell that that was a man before? Women, no. We're just too polite. Some of us are too polite and would rather see someone happy and in their psychosis than to be honest. The reason they do it is because they're attracted to men. So, mm -hmm. so they lie to these men because they're hoping. Mm. They're hoping and praying that they'll be swayed? That they'll be swayed into, okay, it's the same, I guess. We're, we'll try it once. But you really want to manipulate people like that? So it's not something that you're completely hiding. It's something that you are going to disclose. Yeah. But it's just not a first date conversation. It's not. Because yeah. it's like, do you want to anchor your whole relationship off of identity compatibility? Right. That seems very superficial. Yeah. Superficial. Identity compatibility? No, your pe when you, uh, according to y'all, your penis has nothing to do with your identity. Am I correct? It, it has to do with the physical reality of the situation, which is not not what you believe in your head, not the psychosis you the psychosis you're going through, not what you believe in your head, but the reality of the situation. They need to know the reality, not your identity. You don't identify as having a penis, clearly, or else you would have said so. This is not a matter of matching identities. What are your values? What do you care about? What's the energy between us? Those things are not important if the guy you're dating is not attracted to... What are your values? Because I'm lying to you right now. Truth. Honesty, openness. <laughs> Truth. Are you based in reality? Being a trans person that is able to pass, you can expose the shit of these people that are, you know, lying. If I didn't pass, I wouldn't be able to tell you this. So because people perceive me as cis on a daily basis, because if I'm being honest, it, it saved my life in many situations. I've never been clocked before. I'm a very beautiful woman. And I know this. I'm not saying this because it's my opinion, because it's how I'm treated. I attract everybody like everybody wants to f me. When I realized I was very attractive was when I was like attracting other, I was attracting women, female gay shit. 
and why it's because I fit into a cis beauty standard well physically. There is no one way to look trans. And the issue is I think a lot of cis people have a way of looking or being trans in their head and assuming trans people's genitals. The question I have for you is what changed? Is someone telling you that trans makes you turned off? You are transphobic. This is overwhelming, I gotta say. This is the problem with allowing people to live in their psychosis, completely detached from reality. It can be very dangerous. It's not transphobic to be turned off. It's not homophobic to be turned off. If I hit on a girl and she says that's kind of a turn off, that's not homophobic. It's not straight phobic for me to completely deny a guy hitting on me. It's not phobic. It's a preference. I'm not afraid. I'm rejecting your advance. There's a big difference. Rejection does not equal fear. Rejection means I'm confident in myself and don't need to go out on a date with you because you hit on me one time and I have such low self-esteem I feel like I have to go out with you. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> I'm starting to notice that there is a large population of young men who could never get chicks and are already really fucked up, so they're buying into this thing and now they have a real reason to be an asshole and shame women if they don't want to date them when if they were just you know the straight guy they would be shamed and yelled at but if they say that they are women then they can get away with being complete jerks to to women who don't want to date them this is it's so crazy. How are you going to tell me that I'm afraid of trans people just because I said, no, thank you, I don't want to go out with you? Problem is, is that they've made transphobia anything that they don't like. Like, anything that they hear that they don't rejection. like is tr transphobic. Yeah. Any type of rejection. Anything could be transphobic. Anyone can be transphobic. A rat could be transphobic. It bit me. Ah. Transphobia! Ah! The more these people talk like this, the less people want to hear it. Because it's gone on for so long, them talking like this, that people are like, just another day of them complaining about something else. So number one, I want you to imagine yourself as a lesbian going out with someone like that, right? Now, <coughs> she, she, he, they did look very feminine in face. Yeah? Right? Okay. Right? Who? The person that... No! The person No! Yes. Um... No, you agree no, to disagree. no! <laughs> you agree to disagree, okay? Okay. But, but let, let's say you find someone who's very convincing, and you start okay. talking to them, mm -hmm. and then you find out they have a penis. Mm -hmm. Are you not going to be upset? You just kind of, like, leave that conversation and that relationship. <sighs> Would I get upset? No, I would just... No, not with them. More like, you'd be like, oh, this sucks. Well, sorry, can't do it. Yeah. You know? Right? Yeah. Now imagine that person. You're a fucking bigot, how dare you? <laughs> well, then that would leave a very sour taste in my mouth when it came to uh, dealing with uh, trans people. And Have you ever had a woman do that to you? Like a lesbian woman? Has she ever yelled at you for ejecting her? No. Has a man, though? Like a yes. straight man? Yes, yes. Many times. I've been called a bitch just because I didn't hear someone. Because he, he complimented me, apparently, because I didn't hear him. I was a bitch. It's like, wow. So, that is Your all I Your mom should be proud of you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll try and get the stick out of my ass next video.